Yo, 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 what's going on? How you doing today? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing good. Now, for people that's watching this interview that may not know who you are, who are you? My name is Hannah Nicole. I am a model. I've been modeling for almost six years. I am an entrepreneur. I launched a business called Beautified by Hannah Nicole, which is cosmetics. And I also sing and I've been writing since for as long as I can remember. Okay, for sure, for sure. Now, where are you originally from? I'm a Fort Worth. Okay, now growing up in Fort Worth, what was it like for you? Growing up in Fort Worth, it was actually, I, I had a decent childhood, actually, you know. I was raised by a single mother, and I have uh, older siblings. She, my mom did, done a, definitely did a, done an amazing job of uh, raising me and my brother on her own. For sure. Getting everything done, that's just make it happen, so I have no choice but to... You know, follow her footsteps and get up and go get it. For sure, for sure. Respect, respect. Now, Beautified by Hannah Nicole. You just launched that. Um, actually, I have launched it, uh, I think I was 16, so around my junior year, around 2018. So, uh, I took a little break from doing that because, you know, I was just so caught up with schools and stuff. I was attending school at Lamar. And, you know, I just decided to bring it back to life and add more products. At first, I was just doing eyelashes. Then, summer 2019, I added hair onto it. Okay. So now, I'm doing a, a, a whole makeup line. Okay, for sure, for sure. Now, what inspired you to to want to start this line anyway? Um, I've always gotten compliments on my makeup and stuff and my eyelashes. So, I was just like, well... I model, so why not turn this name and this face into a brand? My mom just recently is in the process of launching her lipstick line, which is called Mystic Moon, so make sure y'all be on the lookout for that. Okay. I just, I came from a family full of hustlers. My nieces are even starting their own hair care line called Little Pups. Oh, that's so. nice. That's smooth right there, for sure. <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying? You're a model as well. What are some pros and cons that you can tell any other up-and-coming models? Pros and cons, I mean, I love what I do. I love being a model. That's something I've been wanting to do for the longest. And what's crazy is I was always picked on. So that's just being a model, it gives you more confidence. And, you know, it makes you feel more better about yourself. And you get paid to look pretty in front of a camera. Who doesn't want to do that? Right. And the cons, it's just, you know, it's some stuff. People be making me put on some ugly clothes. You, you gotta <laughs> pretend like you like it, but you get paid to wear it. Right. It's not like you gotta be out in pup well. If you're in a fashion show, then yeah, but a lot of times out of team, they gonna put you in some stuff that you don't wanna be put in. You just gotta make it work, huh? You just gotta make it look For good. Sure. That's part of being professional, huh? Yeah, it's part of being professional. Okay. And another thing, um, you know guys, of course, they're Right. Now let me ask you this. I know with modeling, it is like integrity that's involved. Has there ever been a time where someone tried to question your integrity? Um, no. It was times, because I've always been, I'm, I'm very, I was shy at one point. I just now started showing skin in my photo shoots. I was always, you know, covered up, but now I'm starting to open, come out that shell, you know, show skin. Right. It's never wrong, there's nothing wrong with showing skin. Right, for sure, for sure. Now, Let's say you have a big photo shoot coming up. Mm -hmm. What are some things that you need to have before that shoot? The whole clam squad. <laughs> you gotta make sure your hair right, makeup's right. Even just if you know you have a shoot coming up, I say you know cut out from certain foods and you know just eat healthy and get right. I'm not a person that wants to work out, so I'll just you know eat a lot of healthy stuff and drink plenty of water, of course. For sure, for sure. Now, what are, what were some of your favorite shoots that you had, or any dream shoots that you would like to be a part of? My favorite shoot, or my favorite shoot, would have to be one I did back in October of twenty twenty, where I had on this purple Savage X Fenty set. That was my favorite one because that was my first time ever showing skin. Right. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm, I'm, I'm showing skin. Like that, that definitely opened up a lot of confidence for me. Sure. That's smooth though. That's smooth. And the dream shoot, I actually want to redo a, some, a couple, like a, a couple shoots. I want to redo um, Janet Jackson's um, album cover shoot. Uh, that'd be hard. Yeah, that'd I want to redo right that there. one. And I also want to redo uh, 
Aaliyah's shoot as well with the um, Tommy Hilfiger. Right. Okay. Okay. That'd be smooth. Now, is there any particular photographers that you would like to work with? I would definitely, I would definitely love to work with Amai J. Um, his Instagram okay. his images by Amai J. Picture man. I, yeah. Picture man. <laughs> I, I love his work. Nikon icon. Um, M Lane Photography. Let up that. And another one, his name is uh, Shots by Cam. I love his work. I love all of their work. For sure, for sure. Shout out to all the photographers doing work like that. Now, you know what I'm saying? You had a tweet that you dropped yesterday. I'm going to read a tweet to you. You say, y'all be so quick to give your money to strangers, but when your friend or family does the same thing, you don't support it, but be one free or discounts. You said shit be crazy. Can you kind of explain that tweet and why you felt the need to... Um, why I felt the need to say that is because I've definitely experienced situations like that. Like, my, my family is that way. They will go give their money to strangers, but when it comes to me, they're, hey, can I get a free pair of eyelashes? Hey, I have somewhere to be. Can you do my makeup? No. Right. I'm not doing it for free. If you can give a stranger your money, you can give me your money. Right. And I'm out here trying to do the same thing, which is to eat. Right. That's true. Like, you don't go to Walmart and say, can I get this for free? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I respect that. Now, in your opinion, what makes a, a good model a great model? A good model, what makes a good model a great model is somebody who, you know, is very confident. They keep their stuff together and they be punctual with everything. And, you know, knows how to keep it professional even when other artists are, you know, trying, to, trying their hardest to get you and stuff like that. I definitely don't want to be a person that sleeps their way to the top because you know there's a lot of girls right. on Instagram that is like that they date these rappers you know maybe have a baby by them I, I don't want to do that I definitely just want it I want to get it off the mud I don't want everything handed to me All right for sure respect respect as well uh now I know your mother plays a big part in your career you know what I'm saying what are some things that you could say you learned from her what I've learned from her I've definitely I definitely learned to get up and go get it of course and she's done a lot of things that, you know, my father was supposed to do. So she also learned, I, what I learned from her is I can't depend on nobody but me or her. Because if I need her, she, she's going to stop whatever she's doing for me and come through every time. And I truly commend her for that. And she's definitely gave me my hustler mentality, you know, even, you know, start a business. Because it's totally where... I don't like working a nine to five, and I'd rather <laughs> get paid doing what I love. Right, that's real. That's real. Salute to your mother on that. That's real. Now, video vixens. Would you ever consider being a video vixen? Um, the video vixen is like you know the ones from like the early two thousands, like you know the Melissa Fords and stuff like that. Yes, these new video vixens, no. Okay, now let me ask you this. How do you feel about like the Buffy, the bodies, and the, the super hair and the pinkies of the video vixen game? Um, I just feel as though now I, that I see it, it's not necessary. You don't have to give up your integrity and your self-respect just to be at the top. Sure. You can work hard like everybody else. You don't have to sleep with everyone just to get a spot in the video. And if that's the type of time they're on, then I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to bring my business to somebody else who's professional. Right, for sure, for sure. Now, is there any any models that you kind of look up to, you know what I'm saying, or model yourself after? Um, models, um, Kim Porter, of course. Love Kim Porter. Veronica Webb, Kimberly Simmons, Naomi Campbell, of course. Um, models now, um... I, well, Tiana Taylor, of course, she's a model right. as well as an artist, and, um, you know, of course, the models from back in the day, the ones that did videos, like, um, Melissa Ford and Tay Heckard and all of them. Sure, for sure, okay, that's a strong group right there. Being a model in the modeling business, mm -hmm. I know sometimes you guys work with rappers or artists, uh, sometimes you can build a personal relationship. Mm -hmm. Would there ever be a time where you would date a rapper? Girls be getting done by these rappers, and I'm like, oh. And then another thing, especially listening to their songs and stuff, I just like, who are you talking about? Who are you referring to in these songs? Right. So <laughs> it's like uh, the only rapper that I would probably get the song date is Drake. Man, okay. 
the big. But nine times out of ten, if I was to date somebody with status, it would probably be like an athlete, maybe like a basketball player or something, or an actor or something. Now, if anybody wanted to book you for, you know what I'm saying, a photo shoot, video, anything like that, uh, where can they reach you at? Um, They can either, they can reach my mom, of course. Uh, my Instagram is at beautiful backdrops. You have to go through her to get to me, basically. Perfect. Perfect. Now, where if we want to follow you on social media, where can we follow you? Um, you can follow me on Instagram at Hannah's Interlude. It is all together. No underscores, no dots, nothing like that. Perfect. Bet.